There are many ways to communicate your ideas with Adobe XD. Everything from presenting a prototype flow, to organizing a stakeholder review, or finally delivering specifications as part of a developer handoff. To help you navigate all of these capabilities, we've moved the share experience to a more prominent position within the app and expanded on its functionality. Let's take a look at some of these changes. If you're familiar with the application, the first thing you're going to notice is that the blue share button is no longer here on the right hand side, and instead we have a share mode alongside design mode and prototype mode. Before I switch over to share mode, I'm going to jump into the prototype mode and define the beginning of my flow before I export it. To do that, I'm going to come to the first artboard in the sequence and click on the home icon to the left of that artboard. I can now switch over to share mode by clicking here on the share name, and I'm now in that mode. One thing you'll notice is that the properties inspector is now available for share in addition to design and prototype. If I zoom out for a moment, another thing you'll notice is any of the other artboards in my project have been grayed out. This lets me know exactly which artboards I'll actually be exporting. I can also zoom in and out using the zoom tool here on the left hand side or pinch to zoom in and out the way I usually do in the design canvas. So I'll go ahead and get back to those artboards and let's take a look now at the properties inspector. When I switch over here, the first thing you'll notice is I have a link area and a drop down. If I click on the drop down, I can create a new link. I can also delete older links in the manage links area. And below that, I see a list of any of the links that I've published in the past. I'll go ahead and select new link. Below that, I can come in and assign a title to this share. I also have a view settings drop down. These settings cover some of the common use cases for sharing. Selecting any of these will set up all the options for you. I can always come in and select custom and choose all of those settings manually as I work. Now the nice part about this is the URL can remain the same while I change some of the settings. So let's say I share a URL with my stakeholders and it's a presentation to begin with. If I come in and change that to a prototype or a design spec to hand off to my developers, the URL will not change for my stakeholders, just the settings that I've chosen will update what I'm sharing with them. You're going to definitely want to come in and experiment with some of the new settings here available in the Properties Inspector. I encourage you to give it a try.